In today's video, you'll learn how to design this illustration in just a few steps. We'll start with a sketch. I'm using Adobe Fresco to get the composition going. If you want to follow along, make sure to download it from the description. Place it inside the Illustrator, start tracing it by using the pen tool. Increase the size to 3 points, and from the stroke panel, set a rounded cap and a corner to it. For the eyes, I'm duplicating an ellipse by holding down the Alt key and adding anchors where these shapes meet with the pen tool. Then, remove all of the rest using the Direct Selection tool. For the organic shape in the background, you can use the Curvature tool and you just have to place anchors at any inflection point and the tool will do the rest. I also need the color scheme, so after browsing Dribble, I found an illustration that I like, copy and paste it inside Illustrator, and using the eyedropper tool, I'll sample some of the colors and save them as global colors in the swatches panel. Once the outline is set on a separate layer and locked in, it's time to define the shapes of the composition below it, starting with the hair. In order to edit a color, double click on it in the swatches panel and you can play around till you find something that works with your idea. You can then move to the face and the other elements. If you watched any of my previous videos, you know that I like to draw the shapes at a slight offset from the outline to blend colors together and get more contrast for the actual outlines to be visible. I tend to switch from the pen tool to the curvature tool from time to time in order to get more interesting effects and once I'm done with it, send it to the back. For the shadows, I'll use the dominant color, in this case the one applied on the hair, and draw some wavy shapes using the pen tool underneath the face and on the actual shirt. Next to the illustration, I'll add three stripes that are following the organic look, so for that I'll create a new brush, select the three shapes, add the texture outline that has the same color, go to object, and make sure to hit expand appearances. Then, from the pathfinder window, hit merge. In order to save it, go to window, Open up the brushes panel and click on the new brush icon. Select the art brush option, hit OK. And from the options panel, the only change is to the method. Make sure it's tints. Take the curvature tool, draw a new path and apply the new brush while setting the field to empty. You can then move it around and add one on the other side as well for good measure. Would also like to have some grain texture overlay, so go to Unsplash, look for an image with sand, copy and paste it. And from the tracing option, select the black and white logo preset. After expanding and removing the white part, you can then place it wherever you want and sample the color of the background for it to blend in. This is the final look of the flat illustration. Don't forget to like this video so more people could see it, subscribe for more design videos, and let me know in the comment section if you've enjoyed watching the process. See you in the next video. Bye!